Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com A lot of people have been asking me how do you get that watermark in the bottom of your videos that you show with your logo on it now it's pretty easy to do if you have the right equipment and you have a little bit of know-how so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an image that you're going to place into your video and a type of image that you need to create is called a PNG image there's a few ways you can go about doing that. Um, if you have a need for a logo, then you can buy a logo creator. It's a pretty good software uh, that you can utilize to make any type of um, logos that you want. Um, and the good thing about it is you can make transparencies out of this because it can create a PNG image for you. So it has some templates in here that you can use, um, but you can also make your own logo to make it look however you want. Uh, it's pretty nice software so if you choose an image here as you can see this image has a black background if I want to get rid of that then I can just export the image after I'm done into a PNG transparent and it basically makes it into a transparent image where all of the black background is gone so that's really the easiest way to do it if you're going to be using a logo and if you have a logo creator software now some people don't want to shell out the 60 bucks it cost for that software um, but they already have uh, Photoshop or um, Adobe Elements. So if you have uh, Photoshop Elements, then you can also create a PNG image from here. Now with letters and things like that, it's going to take a lot more time because you have to make sure that you get your brush strokes in between all of the letters to take out all of the white background. So you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Once you get a picture open, in um, Photoshop Elements, you want to go ahead and go to Image and then go to the Image Extractor. Now, this allows you to extract an image and get rid of all the background by using these brushes here on the side. So, you can change the size of the brushes if you need to get into smaller areas because right now you can see it's a pretty big circle. Now, the circle that I'm using now has a little plus sign, or the brush has a little plus sign next to it. And that means that that's the stuff that I'm going to keep. So I want to go ahead and put dots on the area that I want to keep. Now, I probably don't even need to be making this many dots on it. But for some reason, I like to do it this way just to make sure. I would hate to be done and have to do it again because there's a part of the image missing or something like that. Now the next thing you want to do is pick the pieces that you want to take out so it has a little brush with the minus sign. So what you do is you go ahead and use a brush to put little dots wherever you want things to be taken out. Once again I probably don't need to be making this many dots but like I said I like to. So then I click OK and now you'll see all this pixelated area in the back is the or the checkerboard it's going to be the part that's not going to show in the image anymore all I'm going to have is the lady so now I want to save it so I do file save as and down here in the format you have to change it to PNG okay so what I want to do also is get it in a location where I want it. I don't want it where all the other stuff is. And you can see I already made one there called Lady that I was going to use for this. So we'll just name it Lady 2 just so that it saves. And when it asks to interlace, no. All right. So now that we have that done, we will go ahead and get our image into our program so we want to go ahead and import files we're going to go to where the lady is we'll go to lady 2 and we'll open it and there you can see her with all black in the background so now in order to get it into the image how I want it what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my picture in picture 
area. And now I need to create a new pip object from that image that I had. So I'm going to use Lady 2 and I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, what I need to do here is I need to make sure that in order to make it a watermark that it's, she's not solid either. I want her to be transparent. So, if I click on the middle tab here for edit motion, right now she has a transparency of zero. So as you see, as I move it across, she becomes more transparent or invisible as a matter of fact. So I'll go ahead and move it to about 50 so I can see everything behind her, but I can still see her. So that's what makes it a watermark because you can see through it. So now that I'm done with that, I go ahead and hit OK. And I give her a name once again. Call it Lady. I hit OK. And now Lady is actually in here with my other picture in picture options that I can use. Now as you can see I also have my logo in here that I used to put into my videos when I use a video from Cyberlink. So we'll go back to Lady and we'll go ahead and right click on her and we'll Add replace in timeline which will put her right in the middle or the beginning of the picture in picture now I get the option to put her where I'd like to or size her up I want to put her there I'll put her somewhere else I can do that so now if I click on movie and play you can see her but she's transparent so she's now a watermark now another good thing about this is that if I don't like what happened I can actually change it so if I right click on or if I go to the picture in picture here for lady and right click on her I can modify it now if I know well I always want her to be on the bottom the right hand corner well guess what I can make her small and put her down here in the bottom right hand corner and that way every time I use this picture in picture I'll click OK she's always going to be on the bottom right hand corner now before when I first put her in there she wasn't if I remove that, now I go back to Lady and I right click on her and play through on the timeline. Now she's down there on the bottom. So if I hit movie and play, now you'll see her down on the bottom of the screen. So I can actually have it saved if I wanted to in several different formats where I have her on the right, on the right upper corner, left corner at the bottom. I can save as many of these um, watermarks of this as I'd like to. So. That's how you create a watermark in Cyberlink PowerDirector 8. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.